Good afternoon, everybody. This is my name is Lance, and today I'm going to do another winter scene tutorial, or uh, whatever you want to call it, if you want to. Got some stuff over here, so I'm getting glare. Um, but just a nice winter tutorial. I've tried to put my palette here, so you can see my how I use that. I think that's kind of cool to have sometimes. And then I put some med medium on here, just some white medium. Scrubbed it in so I don't have to work myself to death on this thing today, and it speeds the process up quite a bit so thanks for checking in thanks for watching and I'm trying a different camera today I've been using my phone for most of all of them and I'm gonna try a little different setup today so hopefully it works good so this is kind of a trial run all right so let's get this closer I'll get that right in there I want it so you can see both of them right. maybe it might be a little angle but we'll get that lined up how's that Pretty good. Then hopefully you can see both and it'll be a good painting. So let's get started. Okay. Um, I've got, let's go over the colors real quick. Uh, I got white, alizarin, crimson. I'm going to use thalo blue today. It's really a cool color. This is just a mountain mixture. It's a Bob Ross color. It's good for the mountain bases. I got some burnt sienna and raw umber, just a dark brown, and some green here. I don't like using a lot of green in my winter ones, but we'll see how it goes. Let's just grab a little bit of this right here. Okay. Just a little bit, smack it in there. Might have to hold this a little. This could get, I don't have it hooked up super good, but we're going to start right here and just kind of put in some blue. Maybe I should have started up here in the corner, so let's go here. It doesn't matter. Okay. Really doesn't matter. You can leave some holes in there like last time I did, you know, so and we blend that it looks like um, some clouds or whatever. And we're gonna take this right down into the right down here. You can come from the side if you want. Or you know, you get streaks in there, it doesn't matter. Because we're just gonna have this down below is gonna be your see what happens when you don't tap, you get those streaks, but that would be alright, because this might be snow today. And that white under there just makes everything blend really nice. There, we're done. <laughs> Tap. I've got that taped on pretty good. I just bought these. And up here. We're going to come back and blend all this. So I'm trying not to get too far over into there. Didn't dig a bunch of that out of there. Okay. How's that looking? That was my angle. And that looks pretty good. It's a little lighter on the camera. But, um... Like I said, I found this old video camera I had laying around. Turns out it was really nice. We bought it several years ago, but it's got a high ratings, and they still make them. And I was going to purchase a new one, a cheap one, and I'm glad I didn't because the one I have, there's a hair there, the one I have is much better. Okay, I want to get another brush. I'm going to try my my new brush, or this one. Wait, where's it? I had some new ones I bought. Out right here. I don't know if I've used this one, so let's go ahead and use it. I think some of my brushes are still out in the where I clean them in my garage. So, okay, we're just gonna do this. Just like I did one last week, it turned out really good. I just used some different colors, is all. So uh, this is Thalo blue, and it's pretty good color. So I kind of like it. Um, I got some new brushes here. But I don't know. I look crazy on Amazon again, or. I don't know, Timu, if you've heard of that. So, uh, I think they'll work out good. A lot of my brushes aren't where they're supposed to be today. Um, what am I looking for here? I want to do some clouds. So I'm just going to try this new brush I got. I don't even know what it is. It's a flat brush, maybe. I like it, though. It's pretty long, so and we're going to try to throw some clouds in. Okay, just some white. I'm going to pull that white out. Maybe grab a little bit of crimson in there. This one can have a little color in it. Okay, and you know what else? If you wanted to, on this one, we can come in here. Just grab a little bit of crimson. Come down here. Put a little crimson in there. Okay, I'm thinking about that. Okay, grab a little more. Down in the water. Or down here in the land, maybe. Just kind of blend that in. It just... Gives a little different color. There. Okay, we can take a little white.
light in there. Lighten that up towards the where the horizon is. Okay. See? I'm bring that down here too. But kind of in here is where the where we want it to be a little bit. There. There, a little color in there. Not a lot, it doesn't stand out very much, but grab some white on here, more crimson. Let's give it a little color. And then maybe we'll throw some clouds in. I don't know, I've never used this brush before, so we'll just come in and just bounce in some little shapes. See? Again, just, I'm just pushing in. And doing some fun things here. You know, clouds are pretty easy. There. And bring that over. You know, here, maybe a little lighter up top there. There, something like that. Is that looking pretty good? I, I like to step back and look at the colors when I can. Yeah. Well, you can twirl them. Just keep it moving. Okay. Maybe it comes over, it comes down. Maybe it's a little larger up top here. Some more white in there. There. Just, uh, just let, let them be free because that's how clouds are. All right. Over here. There. And let the bottoms just kind of blend down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a dry, clean brush, and let me see here. Okay, I'm just going to come in with this brush and just kind of maybe blend it a little bit. Come in here, and you can do it this way. Okay, just kind of come in and blend the bottoms out. This gives you some control. Okay, just kind of soft. You know, don't hit the tops yet. Just kind of come in and swirling. There. And then you got some nice little uh, cloud indications. They're very soft because I don't want the clouds to stand out with the mountains. Then I'm going to take that brush, kind of pull them up a little bit. Just a touch. Not too much. I know my hand's in the way, but there. See that? Then you kind of angle them in there and just kind of set them back nice and soft. And if you want to, you come back in and maybe get these tips a little brighter. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so used to seeing these little guys here. I'm so used to reaching down, you know. And then that's how you can kind of create some more little interest in them. Maybe a little bit right here. I'm trying to go faster with my paintings, the, my tutorials, because I think, again, <laughs> see that? I might come down there. A little bit there. On the tips. Light's obviously going to be coming from the right today. See that? Just a little bit there. You can pull that down in front of them if you want. There. See? Those look pretty good. Very so. Okay. Get my same brush. And and these, you just want to be careful with them. I'm just going to try and maybe just go like this with these. I don't want to ruin that white. I want it to kind of stick out a little bit. See? See? Just go right there. I don't want to blend them too much. I'm just going to leave it just like that. I think that looks pretty good for clouds. This almost looks crooked, doesn't it? Well, I guess it is because this part I should have stood up higher, but um, sorry. I think it, uh, that's not too bad. It is kind of crooked, isn't it? So, Okay, let's take and grab my knife, and I'm going to do some, some mountains, and we're just do the same thing. I'm going to grab this color here. Okay, this is just a dark dark uh, mountain color and what do you think let's push this way that's going to lead you that way so let's start the cloud right here I don't want them too hot I'm going to come right here okay there's our mountain and these knives you don't have to use them but I think they're pretty easy okay see bring that over just get some paint on there that ain't falling off I gotta get a grip see there Just pull it down. You know, make the mountain however you want it. Oh, just to come up a little more, maybe over there, and then you can have a little bit there. We're kind of only concerned about the top of this mountain, and I want to bring it down and just have some. Okay, see that? And then you can have a whatever you want. Just kind of come in, bang. Maybe there's a little 
pump right there. It gets closer. You can use a brush on these too if you want. See? Just got to get that in there and there. I don't want too much paint on here because when I put my highlights on, it's going to be a little trickier. Right? Just kind of pull that down. There. Pull it. There. There's your mountain. And it's uh, just kind of hanging out up there. You want to make it interesting. Let's put a little, another little bump here. Well, just kind of bring it down. There. Okay, over here. This could go up higher. You know, a little more like that. Maybe it's got a little something there. There's a little bump there. That looks good. I like that better. I like that better. And these can kind of blend together. There. Is that? I'm put that down there. Then I'm going to take, I need something small. I want to pull the paint out. I'm just going to get something I can use. This is just a flat brush, okay? I'm just going to come up here, start pulling paint down. Okay, light's coming from this side, right? I'm going to pull that down and just kind of knock some of that paint off. And, you know, the, we're going to make these easy. I don't want to spend a lot of time on them today, okay? But the, the angles of how the mountain's going to go. Should we make it this way? There. So we're going to pull this way. Because we're going to have the light coming there. So watch this. See that? A little point there. There. Could add a little bump there. See how easy that is? Just grab and... I'm cheating a bit with this, but... There. Pull it out. There's your mountain. Okay? I know this brush is good, but then we can come in and just kind of... Pull out this mountain, right to there maybe, and just leave it. Kind of do that, and then we can come back with the brush we used to blend, and we can even pull some more out there and just kind of, and just miss the bottom of the mountain. Okay. We'll put our highlights in and see what we want to do, but you can take this and just kind of pull it, touch the top, there you got a nice mountain. Maybe it comes that way and just disappears. Just disappears over to the left. Okay? Kind of just floating up there. And that's what you want. Okay? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back in and grab my... We got that brush. Maybe. Should we try this one today for the mountains? It's not a, the, the same kite, but we're just going to come in. See if this works. This might be a little tougher. Okay, and I'm gonna, eh, I don't think so. I didn't plan that very well. So I'm gonna take some white, okay? We're just pull it flat, and just cut across, okay? And then we're gonna come over here. Actually, I'm just gonna use the small end today. We're gonna come over here and just start putting some highlights on here, okay? Pull down. You can let them shake and break and do whatever. See? There. And as you get down farther, you can maybe pull it down here. See? Just kind of sh shaking that thing around. How's that look? Okay. Not a lot of room to work here. So you got to be, you know, get up out there. And just let it bounce and play. You know, you don't need to have a ton of, you know, snow on these. But they are going to be full. See? I'm just pulling. We'll do shadows next. Okay, hopefully you can see that over here. Just grab and pull. If you go above, that's fine because you want to. No. There. Just keep grabbing stuff there and just pulling that down. And, okay, you can grab this and you know, come over here and just, just kind of wiggle it in there and go back and forth. Sometimes this can be difficult, especially when you. Comes over a little more. See the points? Maybe that one's there. Ooh, there's a piece there coming down. See how that just keeps pushing the mountain over? Gives you a little, some edges in there. All right, go reaching down again. Now over here, maybe there's a little bit poking in right here. Just be relaxed and pull up there. See that? And just kind of bring that down. Maybe it comes like that. You know what? Even if it gets a little higher on you, it doesn't matter. And maybe there's a tiny little bit right here. It kind of 
is getting caught in the rear there when it's the painting goes so oh I like that okay so for the, the for the shadow we're gonna make these a little funner I'm gonna take some blue we're gonna mix that right here get some white in there okay get some more white some more white there I want these shadows to be nice I like that color today okay and again, we're just going to come in and uh, grab, pull it that way. See, and watch this. Come right here. Just pull that down. Grab that, that edge. Come this way. See, again. You can use whatever side of the knife you want. Here. Pull that down. Got to have a shadow, or else you're not going to have, uh, the mountains aren't going to stand out. See? And if you need to, you can come this way. Grab a little shadow color there. Just kind of come around. So you just have to decide what's the easiest angle on your knife. There. See? How's that look on there? A little nice. That stands out pretty good. I like it. Okay, again. Right on the tip there. Come over here and just grab right up into here and pull down. Let it bounce. You know, there's a peak there. See that little peak? Him, pull him down, and then in here, if you need to, turn it, just turn it around and just come right in here. And just there, you want your darks in the background, your shadow side, and then everything else on the other one. Okay, I think that looks good. Now, something cool you can do, you can come down here, and maybe this comes down in front. There, just pull. See, that's a little darker in spots. The shadows, I like that. Now, if you get too much shadow in there and you don't like it, you can come back in and you can add some more. See, there's a little bit right in here. See, just little bits here and there. Is my head in the way? Hopefully not. Here's a little bit that comes down there, pulls that over. Okay, grab that again. See? Easy. So easy. Okay, maybe that one comes down like this. A little bit. See that? Just kind of comes down there and gives you some more shadows. Nice little mountain back there. Okay, now if we think we need to, you know, we've got our, our white, but we need to come back up here and let's fix this one. Come back in and get a little white in there. You know, pull that down a little. Maybe he comes over. There. Easy, easy. Okay. And you want, you can get some darker blue in there. Right here. Watch this. It's more thalo. Let's go really dark right up in here. See that? Ooh, pull that some dark in there. And there you go. You got a nice little mountain there. I'm done with it. Not going to mess with it anymore. Okay? Go back to this one here. And we're just going to kind of touch. Tap up into here. Okay? Just want to kind of fade the bottom of that out. See? You can pull it if you want. But you kind of want it to mist a little, okay? that pull this way because it goes this way there so that gives you a mist and it kind of sets it back and almost looks like it's floating out there doesn't it okay and you just kind of come in here and just kind of grab some of that blue see watch this you can grab some of that blue color and just tap it see watch this just kind of oval it out maybe it's coming in this way Okay. Don't put a lot of paint over here, and we might put some trees there, and we probably throw some up on the mountain too. Um, I'm just not sure which way I want to do it, so I'll throw this out of the way. Have a little sip of tea. I got to show you another thing I bought. This thing here is wonderful. Put brushes in it and stuff. It's kind of chintzy. Like <clears throat> I got another one too that I got a round one, and from the store, and I like that too. So okay, um, we've decided to leave the mountain. Actually, I just saw something. Sorry, we got to do. Where is it? I want to come right here. We're gonna have to grab some more white. That's all. Let's do it. I want to grab some white. And come right here and go like this. There we go. Pull some white down right here. Just a little bit right there. Hey, okay? just a change. My mountain looking too dingy. Okay. All right, so next thing we're going to do, 
is we're going to grab some more blue on this one, and we're going to kind of let's grab some of this blue, little color, just kind of come down here. Not too much, but I want to get some more blue down here. Okay, this is cold. Let that come down a little bit. Mix. What do you think? Should we put water in this one? It would be nice. Let me hold this still. Yeah, we're going to get some more shadows in here. I'm just taking phthalo blue. One of my favorite colors. There. There. Now we've got that done. Now we've got to think of what we're going to put in the background. We've got to have some trees and stuff back here. So I'm going to take some of this color, pull it out. Okay. Okay. A little crimson in there. Watch this. This is that mountain color. A little white. I'm going to put some more white on here. And we're just going to come in and make a little, little ridge over here. Okay, smack the ridge in. There's going to be some distant trees. I'm going to make it higher. Okay, might need some more of this color. Remember, it's mixing. There we go. Just all you're thinking here is this is some sort of a, a ridge that's going to sit in front of there. Okay, and it'll push everything back. I'm going to just bring that all the way across over to here. And we don't need as much on this side because I'm going to put some. Okay. Let's get, let's get, let's get some more. Okay, I'll get a little more in there. See that? Nice thing about oil paint. This is pretty thick paint, but it does stick pretty good. I want that darker. All right? I shouldn't do it, but I might throw a little green in there. After I said I don't do. And you're going to push up. See that? Let's come back over here and define this a little more. And... There. That's the foreground. And we can lighten it up, don't worry. I'm just kind of pushing paint on here. Just trying to think of what. A little hump right there. Okay. There. So we're getting that in there. And uh, just some something to push that back, right? One more here. Okay, I'm going to pull that down. I think we're going to have some water in here. Okay. And we're going to do some, some layers here. Push it, turn the brush around. There. Doesn't need to be too powerful, but we can have some water in here maybe. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but I'm thinking we'll pull that there. And then I'm going to take another brush and just kind of come over here. And I've done this several times, but you want to make these look like trees, right? Pull them up. Grab and pull. There. We can be a little closer. This, this misty area down here kind of separates everything. Okay. Pull straight up. And there. See, it gives you little tree looks. And then go below it, the same thing. Just make little tiny pull-ups. And that gives you indications of some distant trees, or just kind of looks cool. Right? Okay. Da, 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 da. I like that. Hmm. Okay. So I got that in there. And you can come in if you need to. Grab a little. Wait, I don't have any white. Where's my white at? There it is. I want the zinc. Regular white. No, okay. Sorry, folks. There it is. Nope. Something I won't. This is zinc titanium white, which is, uh, I don't know, you know, actually I'm going to use a fan brush. Grab a fan brush here and grab some, just a little bit of white. I'll show you something here you can do. You can come in and go, like down here, you can come in and just lift up. I think, I don't know, this, you know, makes some little things happening in there. Be loose, okay, when you're painting. See? Give you a little trees or whatever. Down here, just a little bit. You pull up down here where the bottom might be. There, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think that'll work for us. Just some little changes there. And you can take your other brush here and just kind of come in here and just pull up. Okay, pull up. 
pull up. And that'll be your distant area. Okay, let me tap that a little bit at the bottom. Now let's see what we want to do. I think we might put some water down there. So, okay, let's come back in with that other brush. And we're going to come in front of there. So I'm going to take some more of this, get some crimson in there. And we're going to push all that back, okay? Watch this. I'm just going to take the side of the brush. I'm going to cover most of that back there. Get some crimson. Uh, oh, I'm, see, I don't want to let it slide. Okay, there. And just kind of coming in and you've got to make it darker, right? There we go. There, and that looks good. That's kind of what I was hoping for there. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and Grab another fan brush. I'm going to take some more of that color and I'm going to grab some of that, some of this. Okay, dark, dark, dark. You can probably put a little brown in there. And I want to make some tree indications. Okay, like there's some trees back here. Just indications. They're not, they're close, so I don't want them to look. See? Again, just pulling down. Once you get paint on the brush, sometimes you have to turn it around because it goes to the other side. These are just, then it pushes that other layer back. You can go up higher here if you want. I'm running out of paint. That's okay though. Let's see here. See that? And I'm going to put trees in front of there. So once again, I probably didn't need all that there. But that's okay. Put some more of that in there. Just touch and pull down if you want. Can you see me? Okay. I'm there. Sideways, if you want, pull them a little bit, give them some character. But see the trees in there, and that's kind of what we're looking for. The mountains really standing out. I, I, I really like that. Okay, then we're gonna have to come down here and watch this. Make a little area here. Grab some more of that. Okay, just pull that there. Pull down a little bit. Right. Now we got some water in there. Okay, and I think that'll look pretty good. I'm gonna come back in and grab some white. Watch this. We got all this in there. We're gonna make some water lines. Remember, this is snow, so we're just gonna kind of come in and have some fun. Snow winter paintings are probably the easiest you can do. Okay, see that? It's gonna pick up some of that other color, but yeah. And we're gonna come in and just. Oh, let's get some water. Snow. Let's see. You know what? When I started this one, I wasn't sure what I was going to use. I'm going to switch over to my large fan brush, though, and I'm going to have to get some more white. See, I'm just loading the white on there, and then just pull that, pull it over. See? There. And the water is flat. Okay. I get some more white. Okay, frozen. It's a frozen pond. It's not going to have anything in it except for that. Okay, I need to find my regular white. Okay, titanium white. Let's use this one. I'm not a big fan of this color, but I can't. There, goop it on there. Because for some reason, that one I just had is not. There's a lot of paint on here. Let's grab this and see if it's better. There, see the difference? That's a little thicker white, a little more intense. Here, pull it. Okay, leave your shadows in there, but this is frozen over. You know, just this is all just flat here, okay? There, kind of come across. There. I like that. That looks pretty good. So you got a frozen little lake in there. You know, you got some trees and stuff. Okay, put that there. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna grab this knife here and I'm gonna grab some. And I go boom, get on there and watch this. Should we grab a little light in there? Not much. A little blue there. A little white. Watch this. Right there. Just on the tip. Come in here and go. Okay. Simple. Just touching. See how it falls off? Very easy. Easier than using a knife. That one goes higher, maybe. 
Not too much. And then when I get closer down here, I want just little ones, maybe. You know? You can still see them, but... There. See that? Gives you a little... Little some tree indications there. Now, of course, we're going to come in the front and do some some trees. I just don't know what kind yet, uh, but we've got our water, and we're going to have to make a little bit of make a little water line in there. Watch this. Come back in. Same thing. You just touch. Maybe do the same thing. Get it on the top. Just come through here. Grab a little paint. See? You got to have a little water line back there. It's not going to be my friend today. Try this one. There, let's come in here. Oh, yeah. That's more than I wanted, but that's okay. You just come back and forth. Just You can scrub. Let's get it on the top. There we go. That's better. Sometimes it's easier to get them on the top. You don't want to have some water lines in there. You get too much, pull it off. And we can fix it. There. Come back in and just go like this. Okay. And that snow is coming up into the thing there. Just pull it up there if you want. There. Still looks fine. You can get away with that. And boom. So it's sitting back there. You know, if you want some land back there, you can do it. But we want it to kind of be snowy. So, and I think what I want to do is kind of maybe take this the snow. Maybe it's coming up from the. It's kind of coming up. There and over here, maybe a little bit. See that? A little drift there. Comes down. I like that. Ready? Watch this one. Same thing. So drift. Okay. Go across. Nice. Okay. So, since it's getting close, I don't know, I don't have a timer running, so I think we'll be alright though. I'm going to take some of that color. This, get some maybe brown in there, some blue, and come down here. This is going to be tough because there's a lot of uh, things there, but let's just come in here and go like this. Okay, little bushes in here at the bottom. All I'm doing, see what I'm doing? I'm pushing up. You got to be aggressive because there, there's some little bushes in the front. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little more of that mountain next year. I want it darker. If I could, maybe a little crimson up there too. And the reason I'm going to use that crimson is because that's going to make it darker. There. See? I like this new palette. It's kind of small, but get that. Get some crimson in there. Get it on the brush. Just get a bunch of it. Come back down here and just, see? Darker up front. And push up. That's how you can get nice grass things. Hey, just be loose. There. Okay, go all the way to the bottom. We'll just kind of leave it like that, so the sides are open. Kind of, kind of gets <laughs> my dog's upstairs coughing. We'll do that there. Leave the sides open, and I think that'll be good. Come back in with this one. Okay, lots of white. Okay, on the brush. And we just want to put some highlights on here. Same way in and just push up. You gotta kind of attack it. Get some on there. You just when you have paint this thick, you gotta be almost have to throw it on there. There. So now you got all the highlights. I didn't even use thinner there. I like that. On there. And you can come in and you can pull some little things up here. See much that dark color up or you can come in and get some color on there and you know just pull up just this is the easiest way to paint okay pull down if you want just some little things happening you know, you know. okay now it's time it is time to I'm gonna come in. Let's see, I can grab some dark. More of this dark. I'm gonna come in here. Watch this. Get some brown in there. So maybe just use brown instead. And let's see. Remember I said. Yeah, I'll put a tree in here. Right to there. See that? 
That looks good. Got some more brown. Another one over here. Yeah, let's see. I'm starting there. You know, and then just make them wonky. That one might be a little bigger. There. See? I don't know what we're going to do with these trees, but I think they look pretty good. I'm going to get a little more in there. This isn't typically my tree brush, but I went over here. Okay, I just kind of wiggle it around. And... There, see that one? So you got three. That's odd. So that's what we want, I think. Huh? Okay, and then I'm going to come in. I'm going to get my liner brush if I can find it. Of course, I'm not prepared, so shouldn't be upset with myself. Here's this one here. Hopefully it works. So I may need some paint thinner now. So let me grab some over here. And just kind of put that down here. Okay. And this is going to thin some stuff up. But come in here. Some of that. Just some black. Some of that mountain mixture. And I'm going to twist it. Okay. I'm going to come in here. Light's coming from that side, right? And we've got to make these a little taller. Get a little dark in there. Okay. Be a little bigger. Just touch, pull down. All right. See? Come out on the left side. Give a little more character, huh? We gotta get some more paint thinner in there. And then this one could be here. Just there, like that. All I'm doing is strengthening the trees. Okay? Make them a little darker. A little crimson in there. You can do whatever you want, but you got to. This one here can come down. Thicker, wonkier a little bit. There. Pull them down. So you got your three trees poking out there. Right? Mm -hmm. Fun. Painting's pretty fun. I am. The cool thing is I don't have to work this weekend. So, got some stuff to do. I'm cutting up a brisket today. I got some work to do there. So, there, let's see. We're going to have some limbs, right? So, let's see. Let's pull one here. Okay, that comes down, hooks onto there. Okay, a little darker maybe. Pull that up. Anywhere that there's a... See, that's not doing what I want. I think I'm going to grab a different one here. Um, a limb here. Okay, just to make these trees look good. Okay, sometimes. No pine trees today. I know I do a lot of pine trees. Got to keep these bristles together. Maybe that one there comes over here. See? See that? Sits behind there. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. And this one might come up here and just have a little. See? Anytime you have a tree and there's a bend in it, or there's any type of bump, there's usually something else growing out of it. Right? Okay. Whatever. I like that crimson in there. That's a good color. You know, over here, maybe you got one that's right here. See? Okay, maybe one here. See? And then if they're too blocky up top, you just grab the tip and go pull it up. Not hard. Right here. Just wiggle them around. That looks good. Just leave it. Okay? This one here could come over from here. See, am I in the way? God, I'm trying not to be. But this is a nice little winter painting. I like it. Get a little more paint thinner on there. Because otherwise these bristles don't stick together. Sometimes these liner brushes work really good when you, uh, um, when you have some, uh, go over here, come from right here, and then just kind of pull up. Just kind of do that. Okay, maybe he, you can bring that down a little more it right there. See these little curves? Grab another one. Just kind of come up and have some fun there. Or don't. Thanks for all the likes, subscribes, and, and everything. I appreciate it. Now this one may have a little one right there. Okay, just pull down again. Build that slow walk. Wiggle. Bring that down. Okay. Get some more crimson. 
just turn it and pull. See how I'm doing that? Over here we can pull this one out. And just, just have fun with these. They're easy to do. This one here looks like it needs a little bit of a something over here. Okay. Hey, let's go here. This one got a little more um, uh, the wintery look kind of like a little warmer than the last one I did, isn't it? And these you can just do whatever on, you know. Pull up there. Maybe there's a little something coming down there. Not all three. Sometimes the branches break off. Let them snap. Boom. Whatever. Maybe this one has an arm right over here that comes across. Another one. Right there. Kind of goes behind that tree. I don't know if you can tell or not. Okay, I think we're getting close. We're getting close. And then up here, I want to have one over here. Just a little bit there. A little bit there. You can come in and just things up here and there. This one has some stuff going on. You know. You know, there. I have something coming off of here, huh? Maybe he's got a, a something that comes off and goes up higher. You know, that can happen. Okay, he's kind of a little wonky. There. there. Okay. Those don't look too bad. I think that will work. We'll come in here. This one's kind of wide, isn't it? He's bigger. Kind of pull him down there into the ground. This one, they got feet on him, so I'm going to pull that way, that way. There's your trees. So we got some some trees in the front. I want to go do one thing. I want to get this wrapped up. I don't know how long I've been painting. I'm not keeping track today. So I'm going to pull this a little higher right here. Just a little bit. See? Right here. There. I think this needs something right here. There. See, and you can pull those longer. It just kind of makes them look more... Dangling off over there, dangling. There. there. Easy to do. You okay. Winter's fun. I don't know. I guess winter paintings I said I think are easy. But you just kind of make some little indications and pull some stuff up. Color good. Now we gotta get some uh, we've gotta get some highlights on there, okay? So come up here and grab some white. Maybe some stuff. Let's go over here. Blue. Lots of snow. We need white. A lot of white. Oh, that pink color in there. Okay. Some more of this. There we go. Okay. Some white in there. And then come on this side and we got to put some highlights because this is our sun's coming from this side, right? Let's pull them down. Maybe it comes that way. Easy. Blend them in a little bit. A little bit right there. See? Bit right there. And it doesn't have to be all over. You know, maybe just the main parts of the tree. Where you want them. Pull here. Put the brush on there and just pull it down. See? Another one there. This doesn't look too bad. Okay. A little more. More white. Okay. I like that. Maybe there's a little bit right here. Disappear over here. Same thing. Okay, a lot of paint on here, but if you kind of just let it wiggle and pull off, it kind of those look pretty good. I don't know what kind of trees they are. Guess what though? There's no leaves on them. A little bit there, and some maybe a little bit up here. Sometimes you just need a little white right there. Maybe a little bit right there. And I think that looks pretty good there. Okay, down below you can get some dark, some more dark down here maybe. Pull this side over. Okay, back in there. That dark color on this side down here. See, come down the middle a little bit. Re 
reinforce some of the dark. There's a little blue in there, so that kind of gives it a little, that other side, some, some, some little things happening in there. Maybe you can come right down the middle. There's some little holes in there. I don't know. Don't kill all the light, though, okay? Don't kill all the light. Okay, I like that. We are going to come in on the bottom and do some stuff here. I want to get another, another brush, another liner brush. Here's one. Brand new. And I'm going to come get some white on here. You can pick that up. That one's pure white. I have to move it around. There. Here. Now I want to come over here and do the same thing. I want some really light spots. Same thing. Pull it down. Come down the side. And just throw that on there. A little snow looking, maybe not. Just make a little lighter, a little more standing out there, okay, right on the edge. Get a little paint in there, just on the. And this is wet, 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 so you know it's gonna have some. Okay, a little more light there makes it stand out a little better. Come up there, come down, just have some fun. Wiggle it, do whatever. See, I think that gives them a little bit more character. If you want, you, get some, you can get some of this light blue. This always looks good. Just a little bit of that. Too light. There. And you can kind of come in and put some of that over here in the back. On the sides. Reflected light. Right there. Maybe some there. Just have a little bit of that in there. See? Gives a little. Same thing, just get a little bit in there and then down here on the bottom. Maybe you can pull that over. There. Those trees don't look too bad, do they? Okay, I think I'm done with them though. I've had enough. Um, and then we're going to need to do some little stuff down here. We're going to take some of this dark, some crimson, just use all this up. Okay, and then we got to do something down here with these, right? Let's just pull that up or down. Pull up a little bit. Some, you don't want to kill them all, but you know, then come back in and get some white. Give me that white. Okay. See what I'm doing? It. That might fall off. Come back in and get some white. Push up right there at the base of those. Kind of hard because there's a lot going on. I know. And you can come in and grab some more of that and just kind of come in and maybe pull up this way. And lose all your dark either, so you might have to come back in and grab more dark. There we go, just something like that. Okay, then we can come back in with this. Add some little things in front of them. Some dark, kind of crimson. Mix all that up. There, pull that up. Okay, just make some little things in there. Get some brown in there, maybe. Look at that. There we go. And these are just little, you get them in front of the trees like that, it kind of pulls them out. Yeah. Maybe they're little cattails or something. They're in there. See, when you use the knife, it makes it easier, I think. Okay, now, wait, wait, wait. Take some of this white. on there. Watch this. I might have to throw a little more white on the thing. There. That's what I want. And then you can come in and do this. Put some white in there. Put some color in there. Same thing. This is, this color's kind of got some other stuff in it. But you got to have a little different. You could use pure white here, but I'm just kind of coming in and just adding some varieties there. So there. What do you think of that? That is not a bad painting. You got your little fun going on in the background there. Uh, I want to try one other thing. Here, I'm going to take this brush I used earlier. I want to pull up some spots a little higher here. Okay. There. Maybe there's some little areas that go up so it's not even. Pull over 
here. Grab, and then just little, you know, I don't know, comes up in there. Like there's some little hills back there, little things happening in the background. And it lets you know. my head in the way sorry kind of comes this way a little bit there kind of just let you know there's a little area there and I think we can call this one finished um, I hope you like it and I hope you learned something from it and thanks for watching and have a wonderful day thanks bye